so I bought a lathe. It was really dirty from years of neglect. Long story short, it's clean now. You wouldn't believe all the cleaning stuff I went through to get it back into shape. I changed all the oil in the head, the saddle, and the feed gearbox. And it's ready to go now, except the tool post doesn't have a T-nut to secure it to the compound rest. I have the bolt, just not the T-nut. Plus, when you slide the tool in close, you can see that the tool height is way too short to be on the center line. So I need some sort of riser. I got a few thick pieces of steel with the lathe, so I'm going to make the T-nut and the riser with those. I need a new disc for the chop saw. I get most of my tools secondhand to save money, but it also makes it look like I'm an experienced machinist. A new disc is on order. Now to the drill press. I marked the center in both pieces and started to drill. It's a cheap drill press with a dull drill too. Working on that. Stay tuned and subscribe to my channel and you'll see what I got to fix that. I only have the drill that was made for the tap, so I drilled what I could for the riser. It needs a bigger hole. A trip to the hardware store is in order. Now I can tappy tap tap the hole. Wait, that's not how you use tappy tap tap. That's. Hey, look at that, a cheapo made in China tap wrench broke, yay. Never fear, I have a metric cheapo tap wrench that can save the day. Tapping fluid. And we're through.
It's like a glove. Or rather like a bolt in a nut. Back on the lathe. The T-nut works great. I still haven't bought a drill bigger than the bolt. So I'll just jam the riser in there on the side to see if it centers the tool. It does, yay. I did eventually get the bigger drill, so here it is all assembled and ready to start making chips. Make sure to subscribe so you can see it in action in the next lathe video.